Hi, this is a short video to show you how to make string from nettles. So you pick your nettles. I did pick this one a couple of days ago. It can be done completely with fresh nettles if it's better. And the taller the better. Wear a pair of gloves and take the leaves off. You can save those leaves and they can go in your compost heap or you can make nettle manure out of them. You want to rub it a few times to get the stings off. Then you want to flatten the stem. And I just found a pebble, a stone. And you make it as flat as possible. Where the leaves branch off the main stem, there's a particular strong knot there. So just work especially with your stone over that bit squashing it flat I've then got one long flat nettle without stings you can take your gloves off I've just seen a few more You then want to try and split the stem open. So you, I use my thumb it opens fairly easily if you've squashed it flat enough. right the way down. As far as you can go. Now what we want is we want the outside and we want to take the inside out of the pith. And the easiest way to do that is to do little breaks. pull the pith fibres out. So it's the outer fibres, the soft, darker green outer fibres that are going to form the string. Ah, Misty's decided that moving nettle is good fun. You can discard the pith. The reason we don't do it all in one very long piece is that sometimes it can make the threads break. So we do it in small sections. And you can work from either end ever feels more comfortable. This can take a bit of time. Some of the pith comes off more readily than others. Wow, that was a long piece of pith coming off there. Ah, um, right, we're nearly there. Okay. You then want to divide this 
in half and see what you've got. So I've got some very long strands and some that are broken halfway. I think I'm going to get rid of those short ones for the time being and just focus on these long ones. Lovely. So two sets of long metal threads. So to begin, you put two ends together and you hold one end and you just twist towards you. Keep going and eventually it curls around itself and forms a ring. You then twist those loose ones in and you add them in to one of those threads. Then you want to separate your two sections again. So those short threads have gone with one. You have one in your right hand and one towards your left thumb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to twist and wrap and that's the whole technique. So we take the thread in the right hand, that's the upper hand, the, the hand furthest to the thread um, that's furthest away from you and you twist it towards you. You then take the other thread and put that over the top and round and under. It's a little bit trickier when it's so long. So we're twisting the right thread and looping the left thread over and round. Twisting the right thread towards you and putting the left thread over the top and round through the bottom. I think that the thread that's being twisted towards you is getting stronger as you twist it towards you. And the thread that's going over the top and wrapping around is holding it in place. It's holding the twist in place. Now you can actually do this with short nettles as well. But what you'd want to do is add in extra little bits of thread as they begin to get thinner. We're going to burn off any little, any small little ends at the end, they can be sizzled off with a with a lighter to make the the string look that little bit neater. So let's have a look. So there we have it so far. In fact, um, the little knot at the beginning has come undone but because it's so soft and pliable we can just tie that in a knot and that will stay closed and i found that you can use it just like this and it will dry out but you can also soak it in a bit of glycerine with water a little bit of a, a dilution of glycerine and water and it makes it permanently pliable and it can be a little bit sticky so just watch out for that i haven't tried using oil, but I think it would be possible to make it more pliable by soaking it with oil as well. So obviously this bit just takes time and we just carry on doing that. So 
so say I did want to add another thread in I've got a bit of string that I've already started there this would make it really quite thick but really you'd only have to sort of add a single thread but you, you just place it on there and carry on as usual twisting decide which one it's going to go be added to is it going to be added to the twist or to the wrap let's add this to the wrap And just relax and enjoy this really and that's about it I'll just do one more twist and wrap and show you where it's joined obviously because it was quite a thick thread I was already joining a piece of string that I'd already made um, there will be a change in the size of the string obviously uh, you can carry on doing this and eventually get to making um, really thick rope. So that's gone from thin to a bit thicker there, so obviously that would be stronger. And that's metal string or metal cord. Have fun! <laughs>